Dr. Jeff here with you again this week with uh, Cove Student Man. What uh, are we talking about this week? This week we're talking about Raynoid Syndrome. Raynoid's a good topic. I actually suffer from Raynoid's. I have since I was a little boy. Uh, well, Raynoid's is a, is a basal construction, uh, basal constriction issue. And what happens is generally in your hands, uh, most like your hands, but it could be your feet, even your, your uh, nose or your nipples, you get a basal constriction, causes them to start to turn white. They start to get sore. They get tingly, just like if you're outside and your hands get really cold. Um, and uh, yeah, it's not very pleasant. Um, I'm actually suffering a little bit of it right now. I've got a little bit of whiteness in my fingers here because I'm a little bit nervous doing this video. <laughs> syndrome can be caused by a few things. It could be caused by a cold temperature. It can also be caused by emotionally stressful situations. It can also be an unknown cause. Uh, Raynoid syndrome is more common in women than men. It is also more common in pregnant women. And also, if you are a smoker, you also have a higher chance of getting Raynoid syndrome. So symptoms... For me anyways, I started as a little boy getting uh, really painful hands at night and my parents would come and get me and they'd put my hands under some warm water to try and get rid of, uh, rid of the pain and the tingling. But what would happen is that you start to get these little white patches uh, on your hands or your toes uh, of skin. Uh, it starts to tingle, starts to get a little prickly, uh, they start to grow uh, to the point where you can't really feel with them. Um, feels funny, feels prickly and, and quite painful. And they're, I say, willow white patches, if it goes too long, yeah, your fingers can actually start to turn blue. In terms of treatment for Raynaud's syndrome, there really is no cure, but you can treat the symptoms of it. You can rub your hands together, but that could be painful. Instead, you could put them under your arms, you can sit on them, you can hold a warm bottle to try to warm up your hands. Um, that's for primary Raynaud's syndrome. If you have secondary Raynaud's syndrome, that means that it's brought upon because of another disease. And in that case, you should be treating that disease first. For instance, if you have an autoimmune disease or blood disease, you should be treating those instead of um, Raynaud's syndrome itself. And my, and my Raynaud's disease, I can get it from simply reaching in the freezer and pulling out uh, some chicken and taking it into the kitchen. It'd be that quick uh, happening. Or <clears throat> for me, sometimes it's when I'm nervous, if I'm about to play an important Babin match or, or have a, a talk such as this to, to do, uh, I can get nervous and, and that will bring it on. Uh, generally for me, um, you know, I kind of tuck my arms, hands in here, I rub them together, I put them under my, my legs like this trying to warm up. It usually lasts be 10 and 20 minutes. Uh, it kind of clears up all I have to do to try and get through that 10 or 20 minutes because it can be, can be quite painful uh, when I'm getting it. If you have any questions about anything we talked about with Raynaud's disease today, you can always email us at jgoalsrelatecoalsandwellness.com or talk to us via Facebook. Uh, if you really like our video, you can always share it with your friends. Uh, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think you've got... Uh, Everybody knows you can always come in and we can we can talk to you about it. Um, as always, here at uh, Goldsley Chiropractic, we got, we got your back. back.